is WLWT News 5, leading the way. First at noon, a suspect accused of robbing a bank at gunpoint expected back in court. Thanks for joining us this noon. I'm Kelly Rippin. And I'm Stephen Albert. And this is really a pretty shocking story due to the unexpected suspect. Today, we're seeing the moments that 74-year-old Ann Mayers was arrested by police. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson joins us live with that video and what we're expecting from today's hearing. Karen. Well, good afternoon, guys. 74-year-old Ann Mayers is accused of robbing the Arab, uh, our bank uh, credit union, I should say, our group credit union in Fairfield Township, Friday around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, it took police less than two hours to track her down at her house in Fairfield, in Hamilton. And as you are about to see, she and her sister were in the backyard doing yard work when officers arrived. We're shoveling sand. I'm coming. Oh, my God. Can you go over there by those officers for me, please, ma'am? Uh, me or her? And? I want you, please, ma'am, if you could. She can't hear. I don't hear well. I can't, can't hear over hear. here. Okay. Ma'am, do you have any weapons on you? Lord, no. What did we do? Okay. Yeah, I want you over there. During the initial conversation with officers, Mayors acted like she had no idea why they were there. Investigators, she later admitted to committing an armed robbery at the bank and throwing the clothes she wore out of her car window afterwards. As for motive, detectives say Mayor's sister told them that Anne had been communicating with a man online who allegedly scammed her out of thousands of dollars. Ann Mayers is charged with aggravated robbery and tampering with evidence. So Mayers is due back in court here uh, in Area 2 Court in Hamilton in about an hour. This is for her preliminary hearing. And depending on what happens today, it could decide whether this case gets bound over to a grand jury. Reporting live in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, did police ever recover a gun or the money that was taken? Yeah, according to investigators, they did find a handgun underneath her car, which was in her driveway when they arrived at the house. And they say they also found less than $600 in a Kroger bag, which was also in her car. All right, Karen Johnson live for us. Karen, thanks so much. She'll have uh, details on that coming up in our evening shows. We appreciate it. All right, break.